So one of, one of the things we can figure out, although it's got the stove pack on, um, if you go into extra features here, let's just see that extra features. You've got stealth here. And I can't for the life of me really figure out what it does. You, you click the stealth look, screen off button operate stealth on or off. On, off, on, off. Um, I, I, I don't understand it. On. I mean, what's it doing? I can't, I can't see a thing. Anyway, no doubt we'll find out sooner or later. Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Vogue SE. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 3 litre TD V6 Vogue SE automatic. 2015 on a 15 plate has done 46,043 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 33.2 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 40.4 miles per gallon. Combined is 37.7 miles per gallon. It has a 0 to 60 time of 7.4 seconds, a top speed of 130 miles per hour out of a 254 brake horsepower, six cylinder, 24 valve engine. Road tax, six months is £145.75 and 12 months is £265. So we've got another one with the stealth pack. The black Range Rover badges, black grille, black centre section at the bottom. We've got front and rear parking sensors on the vehicle, high pressure headlamp wash. Xenon headlights. Multi-spoke gloss black alloy wheels with uh, continental tyres all round. The gloss black vents and the flash up the bottom there. Power folding door mirrors. Uh, as long as you've got the key on you, you've also got keyless lock, keyless entry. Uh, and it's this Range Rover, or th this one we've got in, has got a, a little party trick. If you open the door, you'll see there, it's got deployable side steps too. And I'm assuming they, they are really good. They'll work all the time, so are unlikely to seize up. They'll come out and shut every time you open the door, like so. And uh, I suppose the good thing is they'll uh, reduce drag when they go away, so they'll save you fuel too. Good idea, good idea, I've got to say. Full length glass panoramic roof, rear privacy glass, the integrated roof and tailgate spoiler again the black Range Rover badges I, I think it looks really good like that power open and power close tailgate and you've also got it the two sections here bottom section comes down like so and it's sturdy enough and well built enough to take my weight after lockdown which is no small feat got a reversing camera near the number plate up here reversing sensors too um, we've also got in the SE, which is uh, again a, an extremely good accessory, there you go, you can fold the back seats down en masse, hopefully I've got nothing on there. Back seats are folded down so, uh, so far, the front seat moves forward on its own and then they, uh, they carry on. And then back up like so no messing about because they're, they're pretty heavy seats in the back here and also you can actually recline the back seats too, uh, the back passenger seat and move the front seat forward if you're if you're the passenger in the back and you want a bit of a kip and stretch your legs you can put the front seat forward it's a real good design That's the reversing camera there. The wiper is shielded underneath the spoiler and uh, that's where the reversing sensors are. Excellent place to be a passenger. Full pan roof here. 
as I say, you can, uh, if you're on that side, you can move the seat, the passenger seat backwards and forwards to give you plenty of leg room. This has also got, first time I've seen this, I've seen them advertised on uh, Amazon and, and places, but it's got quilted floor mats. I'm, I'm not sure whether I like them or not, actually, but it, it, they look great in the pictures. I'm not so sure about the practicality of them, but it covers everywhere, so the, the carpet mats in here will be like brand new. We've got the rear centre armrest, the cup holders, little cubby hole there, and then again, you see there, you can, uh, if you want to get your head down in the back here, just recline the seats. I've got my seat right the way uh, back, so uh, you would normally have more leg room than this, but it's lovely, like, like new everywhere, this car. Meridian speakers as well, so the, the sound's fantastic. One thing you've got to remember with the deployable side steps is don't get out before they deploy, otherwise they catch you in the back of the leg. But it's a lot easier getting out. I'll just take you for a ride now. Well, what a foul day. Uh, but the good thing is there's no better car to be in than a Range Rover on a foul day. So, foot on the brake, start. We'll just put that key away somewhere, hopefully where it won't rattle. It's keyless entry and keyless go. Uh, we'll get the heated steering wheel on. And let's see, we'll put the heated seat on. You can also, ideal, heated in the uh, winter. And uh, if we take it down there, you can also cool it. It blows uh, cool air through the perforations in the seat. But today... We're going to have it on nuclear. You've also got heated rear seats as well as the adjustable ones. And uh, got three three memories for the, the electric seats. It's just uh, go down there. It's just moved up to a previous person's. And the, the, the electric seats, uh, there's two cushions in the back, lumbar support. You can also... I don't know whether, let's see, you'd be able to see that, but you can move the the actual seat base out on this one. Um, just put that back there. And uh, let's see, even the headrest. Uh, fun, absolutely fantastic. So into drive, <laughs> the steering wheel's toasty. Got a reversing camera there. Um, as well, Lo loads of with the information display here. You've got sat nav, like so. There's also, if we go to the home menu and the extra features, you've got ambient lighting. Yeah, and it, it does look nice at night, fair enough. <laughs> It seems a little bit useless to me, but anyway, it's, fa it's fair enough. And um, let's just see extra features again. Um, eco data, the stealth button, which I, I just, I'm going to have to read the handbook. I've just no idea what it does. And uh, extra, back to extra features, cameras, um, eco data which is quite interesting. It's a two and a half ton car, whatever, big uh, three litre engine. But you can see what impact your electrical equipment uh, has on the on your fuel economy. That's saying 0.3 gallons a, a, an hour up there. So we're, we're right down here. That's the heated steering wheel on. So we'll switch that on, uh, sorry, switch it off. We'll switch the seats off, go back there, and uh, the air conditioning's taking a little, uh, taking a little bit. Knock that off. It's it's down to virtually zero. But anyway, back to that heated steering wheel. I'll have the heated seat back on, and uh, it will be too hot at that. So um, 
the Range Rover electric seats. One position one is unbearable. Uh, position two is like nuclear, and, and position three is the, like the fires of hell. They, they're just incredibly hot. You've also got heated front screen and heated rear screen. Invaluable, absolutely invaluable. Anyway, and then, and then all your terrain response there. We've uh, got auto stop start knocked off because it's stupid. You've also got electrically adjustable height and reach steering wheel. Just get a bit further away. Um, absolutely beautiful car. I normally drive a Range Rover Sport. Um, in the in the SE, you, you can't. You kind of feel like you're when you, you're driving. You you kind of feel like you've not that I've ever taken Valium or anything, but you kind of feel like how I imagine it's like to take Valium. It's just you gentle rocks and sways uh, along these awful roads in Preston. You just uh, one of my mates. He he's, don't care about cars at all and and. Uh, he made the observation when we were in a Range Rover that you don't seem to drive in the Range Rover as much as float, and I and I, I quite agree. It's just like a magic carpet ride. Um, irons out all the bumps. Uh, kind of takes out the unevenness in the roads and the potholes, and just turns it into a gentle sway and you'd think the size of the vehicle it would be a slow coach um, this, uh, this chap in the big lorry's just spoilt my demonstration I was just going to gun it and uh, oh we'll do now <laughs> That beeping noise you hear, that's kind of a collision warning or a, a warning that if you carry on doing what you're doing now, you're going to run into something. So, uh, again, it's, it's a handy thing. It's a, it's a real good spec, this. Santorini black with black leather upholstery, a big front central armrest. It's also got a little refrigerator in there or cooler in there. USB power socket and uh, also auxiliary in. The CD player, it's Bluetooth hands free, sat nav, Bluetooth audio streaming. The big brakes pulling us up, the big tyres stopping us in the wet. Well, um, I'm not going to undertake them, but I'm going straight on. I'm assuming they're going right and they haven't got the brains to uh, move out later on when they're doing 40 miles an hour. Although, <laughs> at first I wasn't sure there was anybody driving it. <laughs> I thought it might be just rolling away from <laughs> somebody who forgot to put the handbrake on. I was a, a young... Well, not young lady driving it. Right, so we're clear there. We'll just nip out. And it, the, the, the size of it... Oh, gosh, I've forgotten to do what I meant to. So, no, I'll have to do it later. I'll do it later and cut it in more at the beginning so you can see. It, you'll, you'll have to wait for that. But it, uh, again, this... So here we go. So, parking, parallel park, drive forward. Now, let's just say, because I want to perpendicular park, so, you, oh, Gordon Bennett. I want to per perpendicular park, so we switched it on, I'm going forward, it says, select R and awaited instructions. Well, 
I don't want to select all because I'm, I'm going forward. So let's just see. It's it's looking for a parking spot. It's found a parking spot, but I don't want to go in that one because I want to go in one that's a, a little bit more challenging. So there you go. Perpendicular space, press button to change mode. Stop and release wheel. Select R and await instructions. So, reverse with care. So here we go. Stop, select drive and await next instruction. So drive. Select reverse. Now that is absolutely perfect. <laughs> at one at one point, I thought it was going to park right in the middle of two spaces, but it's absolutely there. You go, absolutely perfect. So that that's its parking trick. Plus, it'll do parallel parking along the side of the road, and and also, I, I'm pretty sure it'll get you out too. Let me just see if I if I click that. Park assist cancelled. Park assist off. I actually put it in park. So park, parallel park searching, change mode, perpendicular parking, park exit. So here we go. Actually, it says select R and await instructions. Check surrounding for safety. Stop, select drive and await instructions. Drive, park exit, drive forward with Kaya. Nothing coming and it knows there's nothing in the, at the side of me. How brilliant is that? Normally I do a electric memory seat Russian roulette and nine times out of ten the person who's been driving or one of the drivers is, is petite and um, just goes to show you how easy these things are to drive where um, perhaps, a, a, I don't know, I don't know whether they would struggle, the, the headrests and so on in the back, they're, they're quite high. But if you can get high enough in the seat, you can see the fronts and, and you can, the, the back's flat, you can, you know where the, the back is. Um, but this, as I say, I'll, I'll, I'll cut its party trick in. And it's the only one we've had so far that, uh, that's had that accessory. Not sure how, it, how much it costs, but it won't be cheap. Just, uh, just beautiful. It's got Meridian speakers as well, and it, it's—I I forget how many speakers. It, I'm sure it's in the twenties. And it's got a, an acoustic windscreen. Now, if unless you've got a sound studio at, at home with the sound deadening felt on the on the walls and so on to cut back echo and. You, I, I guarantee if you listen to your favourite record in this car at a, a volume or a decent volume you'll hear things that you've never heard before on the, in the record it'll sound better it's 
the, the system is awesome. But we've got folding door mirrors. I don't. Oh, the wow. Well, folding door mirrors. Some cars they won't fold in when you're going over 20 miles an hour or something. But as with everything on the Range Rover, it's it's built. It's built to last. And. Uh, probably got a, a bigger motor than a than an i3 moving the uh, mirrors about oops going too fast it's so easy in these you don't know you're moving just no excuse but uh, I'm gonna tuck in here let everybody come out Honestly, at one time, that would have been my car. And uh, and now I definitely, especially on a day like today, shift it out of the way to get in this. Cruise control, one touch cruise. It's also adaptive cruise control. You can see there, if I just click that again, put it on, you've got, that's the set there. Let's just set the distance. Is Hopefully you'll be able to see from this camera. But I'll, I'll click cruise control, so we're on. I'm going to increase the speed, but as you can see, I've increased it to 70. But we're not doing 70, and the reason is it's because it's adaptive cruise control. Now, if I if I do that, I'm increasing the gap. Just decrease it a little bit, like so. And it'll, it'll speed up. If I move out, there you go, you can see it's speeding up now because I'm not too close in to the car in front. I'm going to pop back in here now. It's, uh, there was nothing behind me, so. So, anyway, the adaptive cruise control basically, you can keep it on, it senses an object in front of you and will slow you down, and you can. You can, you can set the, the distance you want to maintain from the vehicle in front and it'll also, let me just say, I'll put that back on, we'll just see coming up to this car in front, will it break me? Yeah, it's slowing me down, I'm, I'm not touching the, the brake or the accelerator and because I've set the distance it's slowing me down from that car in front. So brilliant system, that is, that is a good system. Coming around here, look. No understeer or oversteer. Something in the road. Something in the road that's obviously dropped off. Can't. And away we go again. I'm not sure why he's slowing down here. Oh, blimey. It is extremely windy today. Those Xenons at the front, high pressure headlamp wash. Just put this down. Oh, also. Another thing, while I remember, um, I'll just do it here when we, this, this chap's obviously got nowhere to go and all day to get there, so we'll, we'll give him some, uh, we'll give him some space to, to get gone, and uh, let me see, stop, stop, stupid idea. So, if I can also just show you, I'll put the video on here. If we go to audio video and then TV. Travel long haul to Mars. It'll take your breath away. I'll turn that down. 
Stu, absolutely, that, that clutch design on the volume control, absolutely stupid. When you want to turn something down, you want to turn it down quick, and the, the faster you do it, the slower it goes, which is really annoying. If I want something off, I want it off there and then. So, right, so there's the TV. If I have the sat nav on as well as the driver, there's the, the driver. I can I can do this, and so I I can't actually see from here. So top gears on on Dave TV. There, right. So just to prove this, you'll be able to see from here. That's the camera there. I'll switch the camera on, and then as I go round there, can you see? So your passengers can watch the TV. The driver drives legally, can, but can still see his sat nav. Everybody's happy. Right, let's get going. I can actually see the mood light in here as well. Um, it's set. Oh, you can see it down there. It's set to green. Just take a couple of photos of that actually you know I'll take a video you can see, just see there that's so that's green and also up the side so it looks like uh, something from the uh, Nostromo okay busy road today we'll get going like to be able to uh, load the front of the vehicles up when I'm on test drive just to check the, the steering and the, the joints at the front. Can't feel anything, can't hear anything. Just Absolutely perfect. I haven't got a clue. I don't know if he's going straight on. Yeah. The, the fuel economy on these and the, the road tax, new 70 plate Audi R8 there, very, very nice. So yeah, the fuel tax, fuel tax, well, <laughs> the fuel economy in the road tax on, on a vehicle this size is uh, absolutely excellent. And uh, to be honest, well, j just well worth it. Again, I'm going too fast. Having said that, I'm going slower than all the other traffic in front of me, but uh, no excuse. Another 70 plate Audi there. Audi must be doing well this year. When we get back to the garage, I'll show you how to set the sat nav, how to delete a mobile, how to pair a mobile, and how to stream audio. But what a what a great seating position. Um, let me see this this camera is at my eye level, and although I suppose you could easily get distracted looking in fields, uh, the other good thing is you can also see over hedges. So on a road like this, anything that's coming around the bend, you can you can pretty much see it. massive luggage space this has also got um, a heavy-duty rubber mat in
So everything's lovely. Just Let's see if we can play a very, very quick bit of music. I don't know what's on, but if we go to audio, and then here you see my music, click my music. I'm gonna have to click it again because that's on CD, but now there's a plus come up. So we'll click the plus, and that gives you the option to uh, change to my phone. And then if I turn it up, I'll turn it up really loud. But I, I can guarantee, to me, in here, it was it was too loud to to listen to for very long. But yet, it was the music was crystal clear. You listening to it over your computer speakers, your phone speakers, or even my audio, which is a professional audio recorder it will probably just blitz it and just just be like noise um, and, and that that's the difference okay let's go it's shocking Preston roads Change now. 